Hey everyone, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we're going to get into it. Now this Tea Time is dedicated to the newest housewives on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And listen guys, although I have not been recapping live the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills this season, I'm watching, uh-huh, I'll probably do my pre-recorded recaps of it, you know, this upcoming week. But I am up to date and oh, I didn't think the show was really going to be anything without Lisa Renna, but they're doing pretty good without her. And a matter of fact, it's much better. It's not so, so dark. Well, anyway, guys, let's get back to the latest housewife, Anne Marie Wiley. Uh huh. Her husband is an ex NFL football player who wrote a book, ironically. What is his book called? Hold on one second. Y'all going to get the connection in a minute. Let me share this screen with y'all. Marcellus Wiley, he wrote a book called Never Shut Up. Y'all see that? Never Shut Up. Well, guess what? He's being accused of SA. He's on this long list of people being accused of SA, Diddy, Jamie Foxx. I mean, y'all come on, y'all can name it. The list goes on and on. He's now on the list. Uh huh. Being accused of SA by um, former classmates when he went to Columbia University in New York City. So guess what? This man wrote a book, Never Shut Up. Well, it's coming back to on him because his victims are not shutting up or alleged victims. We'll say it that way. So Marcellus Wiley has been accused of SA. Now, Bravo claims that they bet their people out, that the people have money, we're going to see the lifestyles of the rich and famous. And every time we turn around, Bravo is giving us nothing but frauds, fake, and phonies. And it appears that, although it may not be the wife, Amory Wiley, that her husband got a sketchy past. So why would they put her up on our TV? Now, listen, we're going to get more into this story, guys, right after this. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen so we could get more into this story. Let me see. Is that the one I want to share? Um, Hold on. There we go. All right. So alleged victim of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, Anne-Marie Wiley's husband, pleads for her identity not to be released in the SA lawsuit, okay? She don't want it to be released because, you know, what? people are crazy, they will come after her, call her all kind of liars and flood her, you know, social media pages. She ain't got time for the nonsense. The woman suing Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, Emery Wiley's husband, Marcellus, for alleged SA, asked that her name not be exposed as part of the lawsuit. According to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com, the accuser who filed her, her case using the name Jane Doe, pleaded that she um, be allowed to continue using Jane Doe. Doe submitted an affidavit as part of her request. She said, in 1994, I suffered SA at the hands of defendant Marcellus, okay? Um, Marcellus Wiley, a student enrolled at and on the premises of Columbia University and the trustees of Columbia University in New York City, okay? Now, the reason why she's telling us about Columbia University, because they're on the lawsuit also, and by the way, Columbia University has settled, Google it, tons, tons, tons of essay cases. 
She said, during my time as a Columbia University student, Marcellus Wiley art me in his Columbia University dorm room. Wiley has denied the claim. Well, they all come out and deny. Doe claim ex-NFL star Wiley used his favorite position with the Columbia organization to coerce and force me to endure horrible essay without consequence on account of his being a star football player. She claimed alone in his dorm room without consent and by means of force and coercion, Wally forced me to perform oral sex on him and had forcible non-consensual coerced sexual intercourse with her. In a lawsuit filed last month in New York court, Doe demanded unspecified damages from Wally and Columbia University. And I'm going to actually do a live tomorrow um, when I have time because I have the actual case and we're going to go over it. Not good. Doe claims she met Wally in 1994 at Columbia. She said they became friendly acquaintances when they attended a psychology class. In her complaint, Doe said Wally invited her over to his dorm in November 1994. She claimed that 15 minutes after showing up, he demanded she take off her clothes. She claimed he grabbed her at the back of her head and forced her face on his genitals. Doe said he demanded that she perform oral sex on him. Doe alleged that she was forced to perform that act on Wally. Doe said Wally then required her to lie down on the floor. He allegedly told um, her she could, she could not leave until you make me, you know, have an orgasm according to the lawsuit. She claimed that he did art her. Doe said the university did nothing about the incident and protected the football player. The Columbia University defendants engaged in a pattern practice and policy of abusing victims of R and SA, failing to properly respond to allegations of R and SA, the suit read. Doe claimed to have suffered psychological and academic injuries. In her plea to keep her identity sealed, Doe wrote, the SA I suffered was embarrassing and caused me a great deal of shame. I'm worried about being retaliated against because Marcellus Wiley, a former NFL player, is a prominent and popular sportscaster whose prior allegations of SA have, been received, have received significant national media attention. She said Wiley would not be unprejudiced in any way if she was allowed to continue as Jane Doe in the case. Doe said that she is willing to provide all relevant information to Wiley and his lawyers, under the conditions that defendants keep all such information confidential and limited for use in this case. Additionally, I'm willing to sit for a deposition when the time comes. Wally publicly denied the claims. He said the accuser was cute, but he didn't have interest in having sex with her. He said she was the one who pursued him in 1994. If you're a virgin, I'm not going to be your first because I'm not looking at it at that same respect, esteem, honor that you should. He said, we did mess around, but no vaginal intercourse. He said he plans to countersue the accuser for defamation. The lawsuit was filed days before Anne Marie's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills debut. You know what? When you do dirt in your past, it's a possibility that will come back to haunt you. Everybody, I guess, is innocent until proven guilty. Um, the paperwork I have that we're going to go over tomorrow, unfortunately, though, um, it claims that, you know, the accuser actually has documentation that she went to Columbia University. They acknowledge that said situation happened in some way, shape or form, but maybe that she misinterpreted they also claim in, in, this, um, in this document, um, and these are all her words, guys. She also claims that, you know, after she reported the incident, she started getting harassing phone calls. She says she went back to the university about these harassing phone calls, and they allegedly believe, this is all according to her, it was uh, Marcellus, and they allegedly called Marcellus. And Marcellus allegedly said, okay, I'll stop calling her. The lawsuit is wild. And listen, nothing I think right now from everything that we hear is going to get wilder than what we hear, heard about Cassie and Diddy. But this one, this case is just as egregious. And in this case, the university uh, protected him. A lot of times with these predators, 
they always have someone helping them. It was all his employees. Allegedly, in this Marcellus case, it was a whole university because he was a star football player. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. This is horrific. What a way for his wife to um, be introduced to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I think Bravo needs to knock it off and start really vetting out these people that they're bringing on the show. Chat with me and I will chat back. Listen, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe at the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Share my video with your friends and family so that they can come and get to know me too. Hit that like button, y'all, and I'll see you on the next video.